Oh my god. Today was very interesting. President Obama made the prediction that and I, I know I keep calling him solely by his last name. I'm going to continue to do that. Trump would not be president. Ever. Well, not ever, but certainly not after this election cycle. And let's be honest, he'll never run again if he loses this time. Which is great. All I can really think about in hearing this is sort of a mirror of my own thoughts. A reflection of my own thoughts because I I still even now when considering his candidacy with a level of seriousness I I can't wrap my mind around him actually if he gets the nomination on the Republican side I think he'll lose very badly in the general election I mean he'll just get talents it could be Clinton it could be Sanders doesn't matter the reason for that is is very simple. You cannot, and I don't I don't care what pundits say, promote a type of discriminatory act against an entire demographic and expect to get elected by mainstream mainstream America. Now that might work in the underbelly of the Republican Party, as has been proven with his victory in New Hampshire. And even over there, you still have Republicans with common sense who will rally behind candidates of a far superior intellect and skill when it comes to the presidency, such as Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, who I, I have no problem saying the first name of, because I, I, I'm nice to them, I'm biased. But whatever. These people who support those two have some level of common sense that is evidently missing when it comes to Trump supporters that are aware of his positions on issues and who have kept a consistent eye on the current affairs of his campaigns and how he weighs on various topics throughout this election season. Now, there are supporters of his who are my age, 18, and probably younger, if that's uh, hard to believe, who will say they support him but be unaware of his policy towards Hispanic immigrants. And in that being the case, will say they support him without really knowing what he's about. And you could you can't necessarily fault them because these are issues that at their age I, I completely understand why they're not interested you know when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 no interest in politics and certainly not to level I am now it came to me roughly two and a half years ago in the latter part of 2013 when I was brought to believe or be concerned about things that mattered more than me that were just important in the grand scheme of things that affected daily lives but enough of my speeches back to the substantive issue which is the president's prediction I, I'm again a completely agreeing with him there's no way you alienate that many voters and expect to win a general election and I'm going to go on the record and say that these supporters of his who you know have this mentality that oh he he's gonna win he'll do great in the general election and he'll be wonderful and he'll really show those uh those liberals and the democrats if they really wanted to show the liberals and the democrats they would rally behind and i know i'm gonna sound bizarre for saying this the same two senators I just mentioned, Cruz or Rubio. Honestly, if more people rallied behind one than the other and one dropped out, we wouldn't even be having this discussion because nine times out of ten, they'd go over to the other senator. Because they have the common interest of wanting a candidate who is not so alienating of other my, of minorities and just other groups in general I, I just can't see how a party is so hell bent 
on replacing a senator or a president from the opposing political party. He was a senator before he was president. And not realizing that the only way to do it is by winning the general election. They're setting themselves up to fail. People have been warning about this for months and months and months. And there are some individuals over there who have common sense and say, okay, this man isn't the one to go with. They're supporting the other candidates. They have proven their reasoning skill when it comes to this election. People see a man who admittedly has done well for himself, and they all rally behind the idea that they can become what he is now, and they're not going to because he will not get in the position to where he can make them what he wants them to be because he is not fit for the office as determined by the electorate of the United States. Says who? Says me? No, not just me, but every single poll that has placed him against Clinton, that has placed him against Sanders, he is losing to them in. Cruz and Rubio, and Rubio in particular, going by these polls, has a better chance of beating Clinton. There are just, there's just some things that I don't, and I don't care how well he does in the primary. He can poll in one state at 50 percent, which he did in I think what was in Michigan. He can poll in, in New York at 75 percent. It won't change the fact that in nine months it will all be over if he gets a nomination on election night before any of us can even turn on the TVs it will be a landslide defeat regard especially if Sanders gets the Democratic nomination as has been proven in polls people try to discredit these polls and say they're inaccurate they can't happen they're not real they're make-believe but think about the last Iowa poll sure Trump Trump was in first place but was that really off from second place what comes after first second Cruz was in second place he came in first place what comes before second first so it's really not hard to piece together the fact that these polls are indicators of how people will actually vote months ahead of the election and yes a lot can change between now and then but what cannot be changed is the fact we have this man on video we have this man written out in news articles saying these things are discriminatory towards illegal immigrants towards Muslim Americans different things circumstances that you cannot escape as being part of the larger continent of America this level of diversity that goes beyond you and me whoever's watching this and you have this man going around and saying that oh no you, you have to be this way now I personally I'm, I'm Catholic I'm not an immigrant I don't fit into those categories that I think he is discriminatory towards but I still believe it is wrong to elect a person who goes on record as saying I am a I am in opposition to all of these groups of people. So again, the president is absolutely correct, and I don't I don't care what what uh, his supporters might think or indicate. I I don't care. Why don't you support? You these are registered Republicans. That's what I don't get about this. They're registered Republicans. They're members of this party, and they say, okay, we we want. A Republican successor for Obama. Your guy is not Trump. Your guy is Cruz. Your guy is Rubio. Your guy might might even be Kasich if he can get along. Certainly not Bush since he has no level of popularity whatsoever in that party except among individuals who can be bought. I refuse to believe anyone is actually a Jeb Bush supporter. I just... <laughs> I will not. I will not believe that. I, I can. I can wrap my mind around every other current candidate, except for him. I. I don't know anyone who actually supports him. That's. Uh, that's not real. But again, if you want, I'm getting a little tired. If you want someone who can beat Clinton, if you want someone who can stand toe to toe with Sanders to an extent, Rubio's the guy to go. The guy to go with. Um, 
There was my stutter. I was so close. <laughs> it's one every video. Or Cruz. One of those two. Or Kasich. One of those three. But Cruz and Rubio have a much higher chance. So I hope I've explained why I don't believe Trump will win. Why I believe the president's prediction is absolutely correct. And have a good day.